But welcome to downtown Ray Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from New Orleans, Louisiana, for Monday, July 2nd, 2018. We'll bring some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O. On Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com, the iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, and James McAvoy are featured in the first teaser poster for director M. Night Shyamalan's upcoming crossover thriller, Glass. Shyamalan released the poster on Twitter Friday alongside news that the cast will be at the San Diego Comic-Con with the filmmaker planning a surprise for fans. Glass, which is set to arrive in theaters on January 18, 2019, will work as both a sequel to 2000's Unbreakable and 2016's Split. The poster features Unbreakable's Willis as the superpower David Dunn sitting together in the same room with his arch nemesis Elijah Price, played by Jackson, and the demented beast from Split, played by McAvoy. The tagline reads, you cannot contain what you are. And Taylor Joy from Split and Sarah Paulson are also set to star in the film, which will revolve around Willis taking on McAvoy's, uh, McAvoy's villainous character. <laughs> Covet Affairs actors Piper Pierbo and Turns alum J.J. Field have joined the cast of Turn Up Charlie, a Netflix comedy starring Idris Elba. Production in the eight-episode series began earlier this month in London. Elba co-created and executive produces the show. The synopsis reads... Turn up Charlie, it centers on Charlie, a struggling DJ and eternal bachelor who is given a final chance at success when he reluctantly becomes a mammy for to his famous best friend's problem child daughter. Uh, Prebro will play the friend Sarah, Herbie will play the daughter Gabrielle, and Field will play David, Gabrielle's father, a popular actor. Tessa Thompson has a deep love with Make Me Feel singer Janelle Monet. The 34-year-old actress discussed her sexuality and bond with Monet in an interview with Netta Porter published Friday following dating rooms. She says, we love each other deeply. We're so close. We vibrate on the same frequency. If people want to speculate about what we are, that's okay. It doesn't bother me. Thompson came out in the interview but did not label her relationship with Monet. The star explained it's tricky because Janelle and I are just really private people and we're both trying to navigate how you reconcile with wanting to have that privacy and space and also wanting to use your platform and influence. She also adds, I can take things for granted because of my family. It's so free and you can be anything that you want to be. I'm attracted to men and also to women. If I bring a woman home or a man, we don't even have to have the discussion. Westworld star acknowledged many LGBTQ people are not in the same position. She says, I want everybody else to have that freedom and support that I have for my loved ones. So many people don't. So do I have the responsibility to talk about that? Do I have the responsibility to say in a public space that this is my person? When they came out in an interview with Rolling Stone in April saying she identifies as pansexual. Speculation about her relationship with Thompson intensified the same month after she collaborated with the actress on her album, Dirty Computer. Thompson says co-parenting with ex-partner actor Hayden Christensen is still a work in progress. The 36-year-old actress said in an interview with people that she puts aside her anger with the 37-year-old actress to focus on their daughter's three-year-old bride, Rose. Thompson told the magazine, we're, starting to, we're still trying to figure things out. It's a tricky one, and I don't know that there is any right way necessarily. She says, we say mommy has a house and daddy has a house, but she's pretty young to have an in-depth conversation. Most important for me is that Briar is okay and secure and stable, no matter how, what I'm dealing with or how much it hurts or how much anger there is. It's just about her. Wilson split from Christensen in September after 10 years of dating. The news said at the time that the pair have a gradual buildup of issues and problems. Versus, they have very different lifestyles and interests. Rachel is very sociable and likes to hang out with friends. Hayden is reclusive and off the grid. Wilson called Briar her true love in a cute Instagram post this week. Uh, she captioned the photo Sunday in Park, hashtag true love. Wilson is best known for playing Summer Roberts on The O.C. and Dr. Zoe Hart on Heart of Dixie. He portrayed Sam Swift on the new ABC series Take Two, which premiered last week. Christina El Musa 
and boyfriend and Ested may have wedding bells in their future. El Musa, who's 34, said in an interview with E! News, published Thursday that she's open to marriage with a 39-year-old British television presenter. She says, I could definitely see myself getting married to Aunt in the future, and I know the kids would be very happy about that. El Musa has parented two children with ex-husband and flipper flop co-star Tariq El Musa, for whom she split in December 2016 after seven years of marriage. She started dating Anstead in November. The HDTV star says Anne has been supportive. He's very grounded as he entered my world. There's so many false stories spinning out there, and he's never said one word to me about any of it. Um, he, she added, he always just says, you're an amazing person, you're an amazing mom, you're an amazing girlfriend. He's so positive with me that he's just really lifted me in so many ways. Musa called herself the luckiest girl following an outing with Anstead and Friends Wednesday in New York. She wrote, seriously love with these three so much, at Casby, at Shinar Beauty, thank you for being so supportive and such strong hashtag girl bosses, you both inspire me daily, love you to the moon, and at unders- and underscore Anstead, I'm the luckiest girl on the planet to call you mine, you completely. El Musa announced Wednesday that she has landed a new HGTV series, Christina on the Coast, the show will debut in early 2019. Amelia Raven is going to be a mama too. The 36-year-old Australian actress said in an Instagram post Friday that she's expecting a baby with, with a baby boy with fiance Eric Billich fall. The Raven is already parents to two-year-old daughter Vera Audrey with Billich. She announced her pregnancy by posting a photo of herself holding up a pro- positive pregnancy test. A star captioned the picture: "Coming this fall, baby boy makes four. Eric and I could not be more excited to share our happy news with y'all." And Vera is over the moon about becoming a big sister at Eric Bilach. Bilach is a writer and director. Shares the same snapshot on his own account. He wrote, "Baby boy, the Raven Bilach coming soon." Uh, the Raven got engaged to Bilach in July 2016, following Vera's birth. That case, we post to Vera on her second birthday in March. The star wrote, happy second birthday, Vera. You're such an incredible, beautiful little person, the brightest of lights. You smile constantly, melt my heart. I'm so lucky to be your mom. I learned so much from you every single day. I love you more than words can ever say, always and forever. Hashtag to the moon and back. Hashtag my little angel. Hashtag old soul. Raven is known for playing Claire Littleton on Lost and Belle on Once Upon a Time. Party of Five alum Nev Campbell has announced via Instagram that she and longtime boyfriend turned actor J.J. Field recently adopted a baby boy. Campbell's post said Friday, sheer joy, so it's been a secret up until now as J.J. and I want to wait until it was official, but we adopted a beautiful baby boy five months ago. His name is Rainer and we are madly in love with him. Our six-year-old son, Caspian, is over the moon and asks every morning, can I hold my baby? Can I feed my baby? Can I play with my baby? It's the most incredible thing we've experienced. We're so grateful for this beautiful light coming into our lives, and we think of and are grateful to his birth family every day for such an incredible gift. This picture was taken moments after our our adoption became official yesterday, and I've been dying to share our news with you all. The message accompanied a photo of her, Phil, and Caspin pushing a stroller down a rainy city street. Phil is set to star in the upcoming Netflix series Turn Up Charlie. Campbell is part of the House of Cards ensemble. Actress Megan Fox, who doesn't often post pictures of her children online, shared on Instagram Friday a rare photo of her youngest son, Journey. Fox captioned, hashtag mood, uh, the indoor image of her blonde boy who is looking at the camera but not smiling. He is barefoot and wearing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle t-shirt and nod to his mom's acting work in the film franchise. Fox and her husband, actor Brian Austin Green, are also the parents of son Bodie, four, and Noah, five. Our Tim Weekly noted on its website, the star have been married since 2010. The Big Bang Theory actress Kayla married equestrian Carl Cook this weekend. Cook said in an Instagram post Saturday, legally K-squared. June 30th, 2018. The message accompanied a wedding photo showing Kuko in a lace gown and Cook in a tuxedo standing face-to-face in a horse stable decorated with horses. A second photo captured the moment Cook tried to kiss his brining bride, who had changed into a lace low-cut jumper. The image was captioned, OK, let's party, hashtag K squared. Us Weekly said the couple started dating in March 2016, shortly after Kuko ended her 21-month marriage to tennis player Ryan Sweetie. Kuko and Cook announced their engagement in December. Kuko celebrated her impending wedding at a bachelorette party with family and friends last week. 
The Backstreet Boys performed their 1999 hit song, I Want It That Way, on Jimmy Fallon on The Tonight Show Thursday using classroom instruments. The boy band and late-night host joined by The Tonight Show band The Roots to recreate the song using items such as wood blocks, triangles, tambourines, a xylophone, and ukulele, among others. Backstreet Boys, Fallon, and The Roots were all seen wearing matching white outfits for the performance. Backstreet Boys consisted of members Nick Carter, A.J. McLean, Brian Luttrell, Howard D., and Kevin Richardson. Also performed their new single, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, on stage to close out The Tonight Show. Don't Go Breaking My Heart, the Backstreet Boys' first new single in five years, is set to appear on the group's upcoming Knife studio album. Country music star Carrie Underwood has shared on Instagram a photo of her holding her three-year-old son Isaiah before a weekend performance at the Hard Rock Cafe and Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Underwood captioned the image, which showed her gazely loving at her child. This was about 30 seconds before I went up on stage tonight. E! News says the boy enjoyed her first concert from the front row where he sat with his dad, Underwood's husband, Mike Fisher. The dinosaur blockbuster Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is the number one movie in North America for a second weekend, earning an additional $60 million in receipts, box office, Mojo.com, at Sunday. Coming in at number two is Incredibles 2 with $45.5 million, followed by Sicario, date of the Saladado, with, with number three at, with $19 million, Uncle Drew at number four with $15.5 million, and Ocean's 8 at number five with $8 million. At the top tier are Tag at number six with $5.6 million, Deadpool 2 at number 7 with $3.5 million. Sanju at number 8 with $2.6 million. Solo Star Wars Story at number 9 with $2.3 million. And Won't You Be My Neighbor at number 10 with $2.3 million. And I'll take a look at what happened on this date in entertainment history. On this date in 1977, Gonna Fly Now. The theme for Rocky is the number one song on the U.S. pop charts. Hollywood composer Bill Conti scored a number one pop hit with the single Gonna Fly Now, the theme from Rocky. Bill Conti was a relatively unknown in Hollywood when he began working on Rocky, but so was Sylvester Stallone. Conti had gained some inter- uh, attention internationally with his work on several early 1970 Italian films, including Victoria De Sica's uh, Academy Award-winning uh, I Gizzardino del Finzi Contini, and Stallone had starred in a small film called Lords of Flatbush, and played various minor roles in movies and on TV. It was Rocky that would truly launch both men's careers, though. The film was Stallone's from start to finish. He wrote and directed as as well as played the starring role. But it was difficult to overstate the importance of his collaboration with Conti. Though Conti took his inspiration from Stallone's footage, Stallone had the film's critical training and fight sequences added to fit Conti's music. The interaction between picture and music and Rocky made an enormous contribution to the movie's success. The single Gonna Fly Now took its name from the almost superfluous 30 words of lyrics written by Anne Robbins and former teddy bear Carol Connors, though it lost the competition for Best Original Song at the 49th Annual Academy Awards to Barbara Streisand and Paul Williams' for Evergreen, Love Theme from A Star is Born. It has remained an instant recognized piece of American popular culture. In the years since the release of Rocky, Sylvester Stallone has continued to churn out action flicks, and Bill Conti has built a hugely successful career as a composer for film and television, a career that eventually included an Academy Award for Best Original Score for the 1983 film The Right Stuff. And as your entertainment report for Monday, July 2nd, 2018, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond, you can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the entertainment report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.